Boys, y'all know I was going to have to talk about this one. First, I thought it was Dennis Schroeder. Uh, Dennis Schroeder or whatever. I thought that it was him suing his agent. Is, is it too early to make those type of jokes with, with Dennis? All right, let's just stick to Netherlands then. Maybe maybe it's too early to do those type of jokes. I don't know. Now, Nerlens Noel wants to sue Rich Paul for $58 million of money. Rich messed up his money and he won his money. Now, this is something we really got to talk about because it's like, I want to know what was the input that he gave you, right? Because and I don't really know how this works. I don't know what type of contracts they work under because if it was me, I just want to say this real quick. I would have said, fuck whatever you talking about. I'm signing this shit, right? Now, this is the thing, again, boys, what I tell y'all about some of these agents, right? Because with certain players that they, you, you know, they, they, they're like some of their clients, it speaks for themselves. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what I mean by when I say sometimes we give people too much credit. Like we give a coach too much credit for being a good coach. We give GMs too much credit for being a good GM. And we give owners too much credit for being a good owner. When some of this shit just speaks for itself sometimes because maybe you might have made a, 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 a move that got, you know, that, that, that was really not looked upon when it happened. But eventually it, it fluctuated into something. Or any fluctuated. Fluctuated. It turned into something, damn it. Fucking sitting here listening and want to go in the comments about how I talk and how I speak. Shut up. And listen to the matter at hand. Now, what I what I mean by this is like, and, and where I'm going with this about the agent thing is, you know, this is the guy, you know, Rich Paul, he got some like exclusive clients. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy for you to just sign a fucking contract with them because they won't get a max any fucking way. The only thing negotiating is if that player wants to go back to that team. That's the only thing you're negotiating at that point, right? Now somebody like this, and this is why you watch, you watch out for this when a lot of you players, right, that y'all want to be so fucking fast to sign with a motherfucker, right, that, uh, that, that has like, you know, a big clientele of some named people, always remember something. When you think of these deals, remember to protect yourself. Make sure they are going to put in just as much input for you as they will with their big um clients you know what i'm saying make sure that they're going to make sure you are secure like they would those big clients now i really want to talk about this because i remember when noel didn't sign this shit and i said it right there of course i didn't say it on youtube i wasn't on youtube yet y'all know this i think i've been on youtube for maybe like maybe going on to it's not about me it's about him, Noel, Rich Paul. That's what we're talking. Stick on topic. Let's stay on topic. Anyway, I knew Noel was not getting anything higher than that. I knew Noel was not going to get another offer like that. Because basically, he had like a shock season, right? And like no, there's no disrespect to Noel, but we because because you know what his potential was when he came out of uh college whatever, even though he was coming off an injury going into the draft. You know, he was still injured when he got drafted. And you know, he had like a solid season for like listen, everything said here is respectfully, but it might just be brutally honest. It might just be brutally. I'm I'm saying brutally, but I'm just you know what I mean? It's being honest. It's being honest. Whether it hurts or not, we're going to be honest. Pause if needed because the way y'all talk on this internet is crazy. But what I'm saying is this. He had a decent season for a backup. 70 mil is like, that's like six man or starter position or maybe even like an elite role player. Yes, elite role player is a thing. Or like being like a, an elite role player. What I mean by elite role player is like when you come in the game, like 
like like a Jamal Crawford, even though that you know that's six man, but that's like an elite role player. Lou Williams, elite role players. Like, and when I'm because the thing about what I'm saying about like elite role play, they're playing just as fucking good as who you consider their star to be. Right? Now, and they're also consistent too, right? And what I'm saying with this is Noel had like a decent season. He really didn't even have no $70 million fucking season when that shit was offered to him. He didn't have no $70 million season. Like, come on, bro. You should, you, you, like, you, they, like, only thing, reason why this be, like, if it sounds like I get pissed when I hear this shit, is because, and granted, this is not me, I'm not in their shoes, but I'm just saying, man, I come from a neighborhood, motherfuckers will kill you for less, you understand what I'm saying, and y'all are making it, y'all made it, and y'all do not appreciate that shit. And that's what starts getting disgusting about some of these situations. Because y'all get fucking greedy. This That Dennis Schroeder thing might stick. Uh, yo. I don't even want to think about it. Because I just clenched my fist. I was about to punch the fuck out of my desk right now. Maybe this microphone. Maybe the, uh, the laptop screen. I don't know what I'm going to do. If I think about that again. Let's stay off of it. Just don't. It's too damn early. I don't want to talk about it. Now, it's like one of my boys or whatever, I had a, this conversation with him because, you know, with me being a Heat fan, he brought up Duncan Robinson's uh, contract. Do I agree with Duncan Robinson getting that money? Yes, I do. And I'm going to tell you why. This is the thing, people. When you, like, because I know that the thing is with, pe with motherfuckers, and this is how I know y'all don't watch the games. Y'all don't watch the games. This is, if y'all watch what Duncan Robinson do, yes, he shoots threes. Yes, he shoots a lot of threes. That's really where his thing is, um, is cultivated around, like his threes, right? He's shooting his threes. When you look at the games, he make his threes damn -ly, damn -ly in a fucking timely fashion. It's plenty of times when we needed him to hit, so he step up and he hit the big three. It's times when, let him, uh, solely, that fucking shooting Brung us to that motherfucking fourth quarter in a close game for the other motherfuckers to close the shit out. He kept the shit afloat. A lot of times, he's not just somebody that I feel like when motherfuckers just go crazy when they see him playing defense on him because he is a taller guy. I think Duncan Robinson is around like what six five, six six, or something like that. And he pa and then he, and he also passed the ball. He does some drive and kick motion. He will he will occasionally go to the rack. He does play defense, so he does more than just fucking shooting. But his shooting is basically in that role. He's perfect for what we do with that role. So that's why he got that money. Do you, is that making sense to y'all or no? Because that's my take on it. So I feel like he's he's earned it from what I've seen from him because I'm a Heat fan and I actually watch the Heat games. I don't just watch the highlight because a highlight will only highlight the three-pointers that he take. You know what I'm saying? And um, this thing, though, I can get why... You might like feel this type of way and you want to sue, you want your money because it's like, yo, you fucked me over. But at the same time, bro, I feel like this is when we get to that point where it's time to switch fucking agents. When you got the when you know that, like, listen, I am gonna say this always. If I was in Vegas and a motherfucker walked up and asked me. How much would I ever bet on myself is going to be whatever the fuck I got in the house? You understand? I'm betting everything on myself. In any situation, I don't give a damn what it is. I never played Jenga. I will bet everything in Jenga. Might have to pick up some things for Jenga. I don't know. I think that's a fun game. <laughs> Let's not get besides the point. But... What I'm trying to say is I'm never going to get mad at, at, at anyone that thinks they were worth more. But also, if this is a good price, in my opinion, because of the season that he had, that, that Nervous Noel had, you know, it. 
the season Noel had wasn't even worth that 70 mil, in my opinion. Because I feel like, yeah, he did solid. He did decent. But that was a lot of money, that 70 mil. And you were doing good on the Mavericks, too. So you're doing good on there. Why wouldn't you sign that? Why would you want to try to um, see if you could make more when every other deal at that time, if I'm not mistaken, and I remember this, it was around like that 15 mil like type of ordeal outside that Mavericks thing. Outside, I'm talking outside the Mavericks thing. He was only looking at about like, I think like 15 mil or something like that. You know what I mean? And it's like, bro, you had the money. And the thing is with some of these agents, man, they don't even follow y'all shit like that, for real, for real. That's that's my opinion. I don't feel like they do because y'all asking some of these people to go above and beyond with, if you look at their track record, their stats, it shows they're not going to be putting that type of shit up. Because remember, every season, every year, what happens? Y'all can't answer, I'll answer it for you. You get older. You know what I'm saying? You get older. You get older. And it's not like like I like you know, Noel's was like, yeah, he was shot, but like he, like he was playing a good role. So like if the Mavericks wanted to offer him that 70 mil, I feel like what direction they were going in, cool. Give him the 70 mil for the direction he was going in. But Noel wasn't going to get that 70 mil with anybody else, I feel like, at that time. Even with he did, because, like I said, he was just solid. He wasn't like no breakout superstar that year. Respectfully said. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, the ball was dropped on this one. I think he just signed the deal for like 27 mil or something like that. This is just crazy, man. Like, we we I, I we, we've seen this right, and especially with the uh, the Schroeder thing happening right. And what I'm a reason why it it, it kind of gets irritating because when you listen to these people on the internet and they make these videos, y'all know what videos I'm talking about. They make these videos right, right, and and they say um. Who missed out on a lot of money during their career. And that's the crazy part about it. Because this is the type of shit that won't be spoke about. It won't be spoke about what influence that the agent tried to have on this person. They're going to just solely look at that NBA player and say. You're dumb. You're stupid. Like you know what I'm saying. And that's why I like to say respectfully with it. Because I'm just being honest on what I'm seeing and with numbers. A lot of these people would just say somebody's a bum and they'll just say they're trash and they just try to just dog these players. And respectfully being said, these YouTubers that y'all like to go watch that say that type of thing, when you watch them play basketball, they wouldn't even be able to look at one of these players' gym bags, let alone carry it for them. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all won't even be good enough to wipe their sneakers off for them after they're done. If y'all see the way these motherfuckers play basketball and they try to give they critique and their take on it. And please, if it's anybody in the comment that heard me say that and want to say some stupid shit out their mouth like, oh, but what about you? I will whoop any one of they motherfucking asses in basketball. Trust and believe me. Don't even play yourself like that. Let's just stay on topic. Trust me, it won't even be a close fucking matchup. But anyway. This is just... Things that happen, but they just don't get talked about. And you know, everybody want to be making this a joke and laughing about it. But like I said, I will like to, you know, get more insight. But I just feel like if he feel as though he cost him the money, I just think at some point, Rich Paul must have gave him some type of, you know, nod or something like, yo, no, we want more. But that was a lot for what Noel did. I feel like that's for the for what he did the the prior season before the marriage wanted to give him that offer. I feel like he was paid well for what he did, extremely well for what he did that season. And also, he was fitting into what they were doing. Like I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's just like I don't want to always tell you tell y'all like. The first amount to take it and run. But I also want to tell y'all. If y'all know. 
it's going to be very hard to match this one. Just just snag it right now, man. Just snag it right now. Because with endorsements, with um, with your investments, man, whatever 100 mil, whatever you thinking about, man, you could easily make this shit, man. You could easily make this shit. Do, do the investments the right way. Had the right team behind you that really want to see you make as much as you can possibly can in your lifetime. And you can do it. You can do it. Players, this shit is beyond basketball. Don't just look for the noun. Don't just look for the 70 mil to like. And I'm not saying Noel did this. I'm just saying because some of them. This, this is their attention. Don't worry about the materialistic thing. Worry about them making sure that that like this shit sets you up for life. Like that money could be a stepping stone into the right, into the right pace. Like like I said with the shooter thing, right? That eighty mil when that contract was over, let's say he signs like a fifteen twenty. Eventually, you touch that hundred mil, right? You eventually touched it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. Y'all just let me know in the comments. Do y'all agree with Noel? Do y'all think it was his fault? Do y'all think we don't uh, bring up these agents enough when these type of situations happen? What are we doing right here? Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You might not like what's going on. One of your people might like what's going on. Bring them through because I'm always here. It's MPB Shot. Until next time because I'm out.